Hi folks, um, well today I'm playing with this little wildlife camera and I'm trying to hack it so that I can get it to respond to flow instead of motion as most wildlife cameras are set up. So I've removed the PIR detector and I've uh, figured out that if I hook up the red wire and pull it high, it'll just wait for uh, before taking a picture. But then if I pull it low, say off of pin 13, which is my LED pin, it'll actually fire fire a, a shot, as you can see here. So if you look at my little Arduino board, the light on the top, the, it, that little red light, um, is high right now, so the camera's waiting. But when it goes low, like it just did, then all of a sudden I get the uh, capturing response on the uh, wildlife camera. So this might be one way to integrate a flow detector with these wildlife cameras, uh, thereby making uh, photo collection of uh, ephemeral flow events a little bit more uh, reasonable for, for our intents and purposes. So, and just for a side note, um, all I'm doing is running the blink sketch right here. Um, and I'm using the LED pin, quick and dirty way of doing this. And as you can see, I've got the red wire pulled high off that little pull-up uh, resistor going to the positive rail. Uh, everything's tied to a common ground. But when that LED turns off, watch right now, the upper right um, LED, then it triggers the camera to fire. So if I can control this camera with an Arduino, uh, there should be a way to uh, write a program with flow detection software that will trigger the camera to pretty much do anything I want, uh, whether it be take a movie or take a suite of photos over time, pretty much anything I'm interested in doing with the uh, software that's already written into the camera. Anyway, uh, I'll try to uh, write this up shortly and post a more extensive uh, video on this.